Okay, Nick Wright. Nick Wright, this fucking worm on Fox Sports. Worm. His first things first, or whatever show he's on now, I don't even know anymore. I used to watch his stuff. He's insufferable, LeBron James. I swear to God, LeBron James doll must be on his night table because the abnormal admiration and love that he has for this man, it's borderline sociopath. It's kind of sick. There's a recent thing right now that's going on about how the 90s are done or some shit like that. Uh, huh? What? Yeah, the 90s are done. Yeah, the 90s, because some fucking worm shit fucking TikTok dork who wasn't alive, who wasn't alive 25 years ago, is sitting here judging an entire generation of basketball off of a 12 minute stretch in an NBA Finals game because guys were fumbling the ball and missing some shots. Does this fucking idiot watch basketball today? I watched an all-star game where all-stars missed wide open threes at a 70% clip yeah, when nobody was guarding them. You don't need to talk right now. You don't need to talk right now. Let me go. Because you're one of these fucking people that push this narrative on this new age of pathetic basketball over and over again. So this guy says this. Nick Wright then makes some ridiculous commentary about the 90s as well and then talks about the the peak the peak LeBron year and the peak Jordan year and whatever. The, man, Jordan's got four years that are better than LeBron's best year. If you want to keep it a buck. If you really want to look at it. But Nick Wright has his admiration and he has his LeBron James card. And, you know, and God forbid he ever has a problem. LeBron James will hire him as part of his PR staff. Um, because there's no better PR guy for LeBron than Nick Wright. But this commentary about the 90s basketball, it gets real tiresome, you know. because there are a lot of things that were said in this video that also like include the fact that Le Le Magic Johnson couldn't dribble. Like, Magic Johnson couldn't dribble? Oh, he dribbled with his hand on top of the ball. Guess what, you dumb fuck from t born in 2000? You had to dribble with your hand over the ball in 1985. You couldn't do this. 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 That's a carry. That is illegal. You could not carry the ball. You can watch clip after clip after clip of traveling called constantly in the 80s always called now a guy can take six steps and not get called for traveling the the new fake gather dribble the gather dribble didn't exist when you played basketball like in 2006 you know that you know it didn't exist it did not exist this whole sh it didn't exist when you were in college this new world that created rules that empower the offense and give the offense all the advantage Let's also remember they shortened the shot clock from 24 to 14 on misses and, um, you know, on misses and dead balls on rebounds. It used to be 24 to 24, 24 to 14. They wanted to have a higher pace game. So the, all these things were done by the NBA to speed up the game, even though in the 80s, guys, teams were scoring 115 points a game without shooting 45 threes a game. The whole mentality of, oh, now Jordan missed an open shot. Okay, so LeBron doesn't miss open shots. I've seen him miss open layups. I saw Jimmy Butler miss an uncontested open layup last week alone. Have you wanted to punch my TV screen? These are professionals. They miss. It happens. But sitting here saying, oh, they're fumbling the ball. They can't dribble. Today's basketball players are allowed to literally carry the ball for five yards without getting called for traveling. Today's basketball player gets away with double dribble all the time. Today's basketball player gets breathed on. It's a foul. Today's basketball player doesn't compete on a level of which they actually truly seem to ever want to win. And come on now, the podcast, please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.